through to warning and everyone. So this morning, we are early for sunrise. Uh, it's fairly cloudy, so I'm not sure we're actually gonna get anything. But if you're watching this video, it's because I actually got a good sunrise. So stay tuned and keep watching the video. And yeah, so we're on a terrace in front of Tower Bridge and the sun should rise to the right of the bridge. It's not gonna be in the middle of the bridge like I used to take these shots, but it, sh it should be good enough for a good photo. And I have two cameras set here. So one is the X-T4 that is doing a time-lapse and I'm using the X-T4 because of the longer battery life because the camera is gonna be shooting for two hours. It's gonna be a night today holy grail time-lapse and the battery life on the X-T4 is just outstanding. So I know I can rely on this one, even if I shoot 2000 pictures, still gonna be on the same battery. And I'm using the 10 to 24 lens on the X-T4. Starting at F4, ISO 160, shutter speed two seconds, and I will be adjusting all along, according to the weather conditions. There was an opening in the sky earlier. I could see the blue sky behind the clouds. Hopefully it will clear up a little bit so I can have good colors. I don't need clear sky, I only need an opening so the sun rays can bounce in on the clouds and create some color. And maybe I can see the sun as well so I can shoot a sunburst and have a sunburst in my time lapse. Anyway, the other camera is the X-T2. I have the 16 to 55 attached to it and it's gonna be more freehand that one. I'm doing bracketed pictures on that one for now. Uh, the main idea is to do time blending, but I think I'll, I'll change that. I might shoot the shot as well, which is here to my left. And maybe if there's some color on the other side, I will shoot the buildings there, see if I can get the London Eye from here. There's only a slice of the London Eye, but with some colors, it may be nice. So yeah. Let's see how this goes. But if you're watching this video, it's because I actually got a good sunrise, so... And unfortunately, that did not happen. Now, in spite of all my time spent preparing for the shooting, the sunrise I was expecting never happened. And uh, the early morning ended with a big fail. Not necessarily my fault, because the weather can be quite unpredictable here in the UK but a failure nonetheless. And here's the result of that morning. When I left home, it was all clear with just enough clouds to make the journey worthwhile. But by the time I walked there, it was all covered and I failed to achieve my goal. But you know what? That's perfectly okay. Now, of course it feels annoying and of course I wish I could always take the gorgeous sunrise and sunset photos I post on my social media but the reality is very different. Social media in most cases is really just a polished facade. Everything is beautiful and every photo just works perfectly. Or at the very least, it is somehow interesting. And I even said it myself in the intro video. But if you're watching this video, it's because I actually got a good sunrise, so. And yes, those perfect moments can happen in the instant you lift your camera and take the shot. Luck can play a role, and I've had these lucky moments myself. But many more times, I failed. Even when I meticulously plan a shot, I can still get there and fail. And you will fail too. And it's important to acknowledge that and be okay with it. You try, you fail, then rinse and repeat. Eventually, you may get it right. And it may bring even more satisfaction because it will be the reward of many, many efforts. And those efforts become lessons. And those lessons make you learn your craft. Now the key thing here is not to feel discouraged by your so-called failures. Accept them, learn from them, and try again and again. And so the next day, I did try again. Early wake up, hour long walk to my location, and new time lapse. And how did it go? Fail. Perhaps a little bit more color, which made me think it was all quite spectacular behind those clouds. But it was all covered with clouds again. And I also had yet another issue with my Fujifilm X-T4, as it stopped shooting all of a sudden. 
Yeah, it's cloudy. It's really, really cloudy. So the openings that I saw earlier, they're just gone. There's no openings anymore. It's only clouds, which is a bit annoying. And also, I don't know what happened with the XT4. I need to investigate the issue. It's not, it's not happening again, but I really don't understand what happened. I had two empty 128 gigabytes SD cards, the UHS2 cards, so those, the fast ones, and all of a sudden it gave me this, it gave me this message, it's full frames full. No idea. Well, I'm actually glad this happened on a boring time lapse. Imagine if it had ruined a good one. Anyway, I went to try when the forecast looked favorable and it didn't happen. So then I decided to try my chances when the forecast was less favorable, experimenting with my luck. It actually started very promisingly because this time there were gaps in the clouds and the sky showed a nice electric blue color. But then again, failed. Now, will I ever stop because I've had a few failures? No. Having been here before, I know that the potential reward far exceeds the frustration. And for example, one of my favorite photos came out of deciding I would not surrender to the adverse weather. I had a plan and I stick to it, knowing it could very well lead to failure because the weather had been terrible the whole day. I was willing to accept the failure and I ended up getting my reward. And so you need to be willing to put the efforts into making it happen. Don't fall into the trap of letting the perfect social media world dictate that you're not good enough. That you can't be as good as any other photographer out there because your failed attempts don't go anywhere close to their published successes. Don't let anybody drag you down. Take your camera, go out and shoot. If you think you don't have enough time for it, take your camera on your way to school, during your commute, in your lunch break, on a walk in the high street for shopping. Use it as much as you can. And if your camera is too heavy for everyday carry, use your smartphone. Train yourself to see through a lens. Maybe your photos won't be good, but your photos will be good. And what about my time lapse? Did I finally get it? No, not yet. I have a few photos from around this location that I'm pleased with. I'm still putting the effort into getting this time lapse that I want. I hope I'll get it eventually, but if I want, I'll still be okay with that. It's all I will have learned in the meantime, and in some cases, the people I will have met while trying that make this so worthwhile. And it's you, watching this video until the end and supporting my channel that makes my work here worthwhile. So, thank you.